tell him all this was like, but uh, he, I understand see, what you're saying. He don't understand nothing about the Israelites. No. So, so we're going to go into the Bible. Genesis 25. We're going to tell you what an Israelite is. We're going to break it down to you from the beginning, okay? Oh, shit, what the fuck is he Flies, bro. Flies, <laughs> yeah. they everywhere. Flies, yeah, let me in. Because an Israelite is basically anybody comes from Israel. Now, Israel was originally named Jacob. African? No, not African. Africa was a so-called white man. Where is Israel, Israel from? I'm just going to tell you. Israel name was originally Jacob, all right? Now, Jacob was a father. Go ahead, go to him. This is uh, Deuteron uh, Deuteronomy. It says, Genesis chapter 35, verse 10. I'll start at 9. It says, and, yeah, and God appeared unto Jacob again when he went. Genesis 1. 25 and 25. Yeah, 25 and 25. Genesis chapter 25, verse 25. And first came out. Let me start up. Yeah. It's uh, chapter 22. Genesis 25 and 22. And the children. And the children struggled together in her. And the children struggled, struggled together within her. Now these two children, all right, now the her is talking about, is talking about Rebecca, all right? Now Rebecca was Isaac's wife, all right? Now Isaac and Rebecca was gonna have children. And these two children was Jacob and Esau, all right? Now, these two children were struggling. Now, now, now notice that these, it says these two children, children were struggling together in her. All right, which well, means basically, they're, they're, yeah, yeah they were fighting. Yeah, they, they was twins and they were, they were struggling, which means it was, it was finished out that she was gonna have a miscarriage. Go ahead. Now, right. remember that it was fighting each other. Go ahead. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? Right, if it, if it be, if it was written that I was supposed to have babies, why am I feeling like this? Why does it feel like I'm gonna have a miscarriage? Why does these babies feel like they're gonna be born early? Why am I like this, basically? Go ahead. And she went to inquire of the Lord. She went to a prophet and asked about the ask about what, what why is this happening to me? Go ahead. And the Lord and the Lord said unto her, uh -huh. Two nations are in thy womb. Yep, two nations are in thy womb. Two, go ahead. It says, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Right, so it's basically it's two nations. It's not one people, it's not it's not uh, together. It's, it's, it's two, two different, different people. people. Right. Exactly. Go ahead. Now that's not normal. Right. That's not that's not, not normal. Because you have a son. Your, your son's yeah, race is gonna be you. You know, if I had a son, my, my son's race is gonna be me. But you know, Rebecca, Isaac had two sons and, and uh, there was two different races. And I'm gonna, to make you understand better, this is after the flood of Noah. Yep. You know, I'm not gonna walk. This is after the flood. This is when the Lord, this is when the Most High was repopulating the earth. He was building the nations back. Yep. I was. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why it was two different manner of people in her womb, oh, two different okay. nations. I got it. See, you okay. understand? Yeah. Okay. I know, because it would make Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it says, two manner of people Man, shall be. Africa. Africa. Because, you know, it says two Actually, manner. I think this was the last, this, these were the last two people to, to be added to the 18 yeah. tribes. You know, because out of these people came Jacob and Esau, and that was it. Moab was already established. Uh, Ammon was already established. Ham, Japheth. Yeah, this out of the 18 families. These out of 18 families. Esau and Jacob was the last two after this. Y'all stuck. Y'all stuck. Huh? Y'all stuck. Yeah. Huh? Y'all stuck. Excuse me, excuse me, say study. Excuse me, say study to show that something through. A work for not to be ashamed, man. Y'all stuck. Because if, you, if you'd have walked up here and you'd have said, what's this like, and we wouldn't hey, be able to answer that, we would have been ashamed. Yeah. yeah. We'll come back, man. Come, come back next week. Yeah, it says, uh, Two manner of people shall be separated from thine bowels, and one people shall be stronger than the other people. Notice that. One people shall be stronger than another people. Let me ask you this. Who is the top person? Without even me saying no names, who is the top person in basketball right now? Why him? What's LeBron. his name? LeBron. Who? Yeah. LeBron. And what race is LeBron? Well, uh, what? What? What race is LeBron? What, what, what? Oh, black man. Okay, black, black man. But I'll say nothing. Who dominated? Fort, I ain't, I ain't gonna who, get dominated, it. who dominated? Who dominated? Who, who dominated? Who uh, dominated? Uh, 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 boxing. Right. Boxing. Who right. dominated boxing? We gotta give to uh, money, man. Mayweather. What's his What's his race? Listen, right. Okay. Yeah. He did everything. He did. Hey, man. We're. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go give it to him too. But basically, right. who's dominating the sports? The, the entertainment industry. The so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Yeah. You're looking at the, 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 the top actors and the top singers. They're all jakes, man. 
you know? Okay. So when it says one people shall be strong than the other, it's talking about everything. Right. Seeing the vocal wise. You know, right. wrestling, uh, fighting, we'll give another, thinking back. We'll give another it. example. Who who dominate uh the major league baseball league right now? Yeah. Ooh. What race of people right now that's that's dominating? Latino. Uh, Yep, exactly. Latino. There you go. Boom. There you go, bro. Latino. And they're part of their part of the world. I don't care what they say, right? Latino. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. They say, the they one even day, in the UFC. One day got Tim Mays. I mean, he got, he got, uh, he got, uh, yeah. Tim Mays for two years. Yeah. Oh, they even dominate the UFC, anyway. man. Andrew, right. Anderson Silva. He's an uh, asteroid, man. Oh. Yeah. You know? Right. He, he's My like boy. the father. He's like the father the of the UFC, man. Probably, yep. The Dominican Republic. Yeah. They coming out from the Dominican Republic. And uh, but you, Brazil. you get it though. You, you get, get, you get the idea. Man. Than you know, the we other didn't people. we didn't we didn't have to tell you, we didn't have to force force you to say, oh no. who is this one? Oh, you know exactly who, who who dominates oh, it, man. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. cool. It says uh one people shall be stronger than the other people and the and the elder shall serve the younger. Note that the elder shall serve okay. the younger. What's the elder person? The elder is the person that comes out right. first. Yeah. You know? Right. Me and him are brother, but guess what? He's three months older than me, so he's right. my elder brother. All right? Yeah. I'm the younger brother. Go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah twins. And, and that, that's like I'll say, even with twins. Yeah. Like, I have yeah, a twins. set of twins myself. Yeah. My son, he the oldest. He older about 20 minutes. Yeah. See? So basically, this is the. Yeah, I got a set of twins, man. So, you know, basically, like the brother was going into, there's an elder brother that came out. He said the uh, the uh, the uh, elder should serve the younger. So there's an older brother and a younger brother, but we gonna go into it. Go ahead. It says, and when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, uh -huh. and the first came out red all over, like a hairy garment. Now, now, when it says red all over, when he came out, his skin pigment was basically reddish. He was a very red-looking baby. Like a hairy garment, because back then a, a garment was dyed in a, 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 a red um um and red dye. All right. So when they said a hairy garment, they were talking about the texture of the of, of the um of the of the garment, the color of the garment, which was red. So they was basically comparing that baby's skin color as a uh, as a hairy garment. You know. Go ahead. Yes, and sir. I mean, and then if you want to look at symbolically, when a so-called white man grows up, he becomes hairy. He got hair on his chest, on his back, on his arms, on his legs. I was about to you ask know? you, what race of people? is red on the earth right now. What what Rick what race Native, of people? Native American, I don't. They call they them lie. Native American. I say Native American. They say Native American. That's American. a lie. That's that, that's a stigma that they put on the most Native yeah. American so called Native American Indians. Is that you? They they different derivatives of brown skin. Okay. Is that you you are you're part of No actually Native I'm from the tribe of children. But see that that woman right there Look at her skin complexion. Is that a black woman? Ain't no black woman. Hey, this, hey, this, hey, this black is a Native American. Does he, he look red to you? Yeah. Right. That's a Native American, man. Does he look red to you? He looks brown. Yeah, he's brown. Yeah, right. Yeah. right, so why would they call him? Yeah, 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 he, was, yeah, he looks like my complexion, right. Yeah. right. But let me tell you, I'm not even, even going to type in a red man. I'm just going to type in one person. Is that one picture? What color is he? Okay, come on. I thought I was gonna smack you with the board. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Look. For instance, one came out red like a hairy garment. When you when you when you, when you choke him or slap him, yeah. he's like he's a smiling. Yeah. Look, 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 look. What color is he? Red. Right. Okay. Look at look. Look how pink his ears he is. You know, a pink is a derivative of red. Yeah. So he came out baby looking like that. He was red. He was, he was, he was red. Like this man. He, he, he's choking him, but he's red. You know, when, he, when, he, when, he, when, the, when the pressure, when his blood pressure get up, you can see his, you can see his blood through his skin. Yep. All right, that's why, that's what it says his name. He was, he said, I'm gonna read the verse over again. This is Genesis 25 to 25. It says, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and, his, and they called his name Esau. Now, he's the first one that came out, all right? Uh, Esau. Esau. Now his name was Esau, but if you go up the first, it says he came out first. Right. But it says the elder shall serve the younger. Right. All right. The elder brother is always going to come out first. All right. But I'm gonna keep going. It says verse 26. And after that came his his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel. So the younger brother 
Yeah. He was right. holding his heel. Cool. He was till he took his foot. Yeah. He came out the came out the coach. He says, uh, in his head. And that, and, that, and that holding his foot was symbolic. If you read in the young apocrypha in the second Ezra, it says, it says Esau, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. I've been so trying. so oh, man, listen, listen, listen. So when Jacob took hold on Esau Hill, that was a symbolic thing, saying that after he after this man gets done ruling, my kingdom is right after his. Alright? So when he held on his heel, and the heel is what? At the end at the end of the part of your body. So as soon as this man, and this man is at his end. So as soon as this man king gets destroyed, guess who gets set up first? Jacob's. Alright, now we're gonna see who Jacob is. And after okay. that came his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, uh -huh. and his name was called Jacob. Uh -huh. And Isaac was three score years old when she when she bared them. Yep. And the boys grew. And Esau was a cunning hunter, yep. a man of the field. Uh, yep. Go ahead. And Jacob was a plain, a plain man, yep. dwelling in tents. Mm -hmm. And Isaac, all right, why, why did it describe how Jacob looked? It yeah. described uh, how like Esau that. looked. I like the script. I like how. I wish I had something right there. <laughs> do, no, because my people, my people, they tell me, oh, you know, I don't lie. I, I go to church, right? I ain't with it, I ain't with it, church on your child. Yeah, you ain't with it, but you go to church. Right. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see. Right. So I, I, I just go to church. That. I ain't never heard that. <laughs> never heard none of that. You know, and a lot of, see, a lot, a lot of people, they go to the church because they got a zeal. Because you got a zeal uh, 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 of the Heavenly Father, but not according to knowledge. You see, right. if they was getting the knowledge, they would listen. That's well, why when you go to church, you fall, you fall asleep up in there. Because that pastor, he's not giving you the truth. He's not breaking these scriptures down. I never heard that. You know, I the right way. That. Right, right. This is being broken down the way it's supposed to be broken down. You know, so that you can have an understanding of the history of what happened, or who is who, and what is what, and what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's what we're doing, basically. But we're breaking down the scriptures so you can have an understanding. You see? That's that's what gets people to listen. That's our whole purpose of being out here. That's that right. You get, you know, we out here to uh, gather up the lost sheep. Edify. Right, edify, yeah. Teach. Basically, teach it because you never heard it before. I never heard that. I never Before I was out here, before I was out here, I was walking past just like you are. Before he was out here, he was walking past. He, you see this? You see this dude? He be, he be coming out here every Sunday. Every Sunday. He come out here every Sunday. Yeah. Because why? Because he. Go. Why? Because he learned it. You know, he he heard things that he never heard before. I heard before I got it. I heard things I never heard before. Y'all you know? So I was interested. I was, I'm gonna come back. 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 i am going to it says, and after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. Now I asked you, why did why did it not describe how Jacob looked? Because Jacob looked like everybody else. Esau was the one that looked different. He was the he was, no, he was the white person. person. He was the so-called white man because he's red all over like a hairy garment. But Jacob, he looked like me and you. He right. was dark skin. Right. You know, and it says, and then go ahead, this is uh, 27. It says, and the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. And Isaac, the father of the two, Isaac, uh, it says, Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison, but Rebecca loved Jacob. So, Isaac. I said was the father. He said, he just said, somebody like Dead like what's wrong? You said, I'm sorry. Which one did like? Esau, he liked the Esau. The, the daddy liked the, the, the real. The mom liked the one that looked like me and the dark one. Yeah. All right? Now, uh, it says Esau was a cunning hunter in the field. Now, who liked the hunt? Right? You don't see no black people going out to the field. Right? And the word cunning. Ain't that like he's cracking? Yeah. That's where they get those fatigues. They be wearing the, uh, the antler, fake antlers and stuff. Yeah. Putting they got deer the piss on them. The deer piss. They got the uh, the duck whistle yeah. and stuff like that. You know, that's how they hunt. They cunning. You know, and they do the same thing with our people. You know. Put drugs in the community. 
Yep, Seth Snacks. They get, they get, they get uh, credit guns. They get credit guns yep. laid in Chicago. What do you think they're going to do with them guns? They're cunning hunters, all right? Yep. It says, uh, 28. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison. And Rebecca loved Jacob. And Jacob saw, uh, and Jacob saw it pottage. And Esau came from the field and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, feed me. Uh, no, no, we got the point. He understands who Jacob and Esau is. Go ahead and go with Jacob got his name changed. And then we're going to go to, uh, to Genesis 49 chapter with his rights coming out. 30, uh, okay, I'm gonna go, we're going to go to where Israelites came from. Because yep. you're an Israelite. And you got to, you know. This now is, you this understand who Jacob is, Esau, right? Right. Yeah. Now remember that. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Ask him. Who is a, uh, uh, Esau? Esau is a first base. Yeah. Now, well, who is he right now? To this day, I don't know. Read, read all over. Who read all over? Man, today? you read all over. Who is? Who, who read Which all over? Was that? The white business. There, there you go. go. Now, who is Jacob? The black man. Exactly. And and who else? And the dead. No. Who you said it? The so-called Negroes, Latinos. Okay. Yeah. And Native American Indians. That's yeah. all, Jacob. Oh, that's, the, that's the, the 12 tribes of Israel. We're going to go into it. Yeah. Yeah. Why? That's, that's yeah, he, why he got to go into that right now. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Because uh, mm -hmm. oh, Jacob, has, tribe, tribe. Jacob has 12, 12 tribes. It's 12 tribes of Israel. Are you ready to give babies? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Catch it yeah. on. Yeah. Catch yeah. it on. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now this is uh, Genesis. I'm going to jump around a little bit so you can right, understand. This is Genesis chapter 35, verse 10. It says, In Yahweh, man, it's like it ain't. Sorry. Yeah. And God said to him, thy name is Jacob. Go, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, go, go up a little bit. Go, right. um. I'm sure, this is the point. Okay, all right. I mean, he can read the story on his own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, this is, uh, and God said to him, thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called anymore Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. See, so the second born Jacob is. Say again. God. It says, and God said to him, God, I, said, yeah. God said, said to him, Jacob, Jacob the, the black man. Right. It says, thy name is Jacob. Okay. Thy name shall not be called anymore Jacob. So what's your name? My name is Alonzo. Alonzo. All right. If I'm, if I'm God, I say Alonzo. Your name, your name is Alonzo. Exactly. Your name not, is no more going to be Alonzo. That's You're going to be Travis. That's, yeah. what, that's, what, that's what the Lord is telling Jacob right yeah. now. Yeah. And it says, thy name shall not be called anymore Jacob. So he, even though his name is Jacob, guess what? He's saying, no, your name is not Jacob no more. Go ahead. But Israel shall but be you, thy name. But your name is going to be Israel. But there was a specific reason why the Lord chose Israel. Go ahead. And he called his name Israel. Uh -huh. And God said to him, I am God Almighty. Uh -huh. Be fruitful and multiply. Uh -huh. A nation and a company of nations. What? A nation in a company of nations. Oh, yeah. A nation in a company of nations. Go ahead. Exactly. Yep. Go ahead. Yep. Shall be of thee. That's why he called his name Israel. Because why? Because the people, his people, was coming out of him. Because we, if, if you, we made, 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 made a, huh? We made a lot of different nations. Yep. Well, he only ate actually specifically yeah. twelve. He, this was one big nation. Yeah. One big nation. One big nation with 12 other little nations. Yep. Right. 12 tribes. That's, what he did, yeah. That's exactly yep. what he did. The nation of Israel is one nation. Yeah. With 12 different tribes. 12 different tribes. You got any brothers? Yep. Yeah. Okay, imagine like your father being Jacob, right? And every one of your your father's sons, y'all you just just different tribes. You got your own tribe, your brother got his own tribe. That's, that's what happened. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the same that's thing we said what? we found out. Really? That's right. I ain't never heard I promise. I've been in church, I ain't never heard nothing like that. That's why that's why he got his name changed. That's why the Lord changed his I name. Never heard that. Yeah. I never heard that. So let me ask you a question. Who is Jacob? Who is Jacob now? What did Jacob get his name changed to? Said, you're an Israelite, you said, I don't, I don't know what that is. Now, what is an Israelite? Right. So now you know what an Israelite is. Israelite is. Yeah. Anyway. See, and what we're teaching you is our history. Yeah. This is this book right here, this, this Holy Bible, both of these books, this is our history. Right. This is our history. This is our heritage. Right. This, is, this is about our right. customs. Right. This is about where we come from, our people. Because our people right now, they're lost. They don't know who they are. 
They don't know nothing about their history, their custom, their heritage. Yeah. They don't know nothing. All they know is black culture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All they know is hitting the piano. What do they call that thing, that Mexican thing? You know, they, they don't know who they really are, man. So the Lord, he got us out here to tell you who you are, to teach you, man, through the scriptures, so that you can come.